two pennies. This story begins on the battlefields of the Somme. The First World War had been raging in Europe for almost four years. By April 1918, the trenches around Villers Bretonneux were mud-drenched wastelands. The German army occupied the village and was determined to capture Amiens, a town close to Villers Bretonneux and only 70 miles from Paris, their final destination. All that stood between the German army and Amiens were the men of the 13th and 15th Brigades, Australian Imperial Forces and two British battalions. On the evening of April 24, 1918, these brave men turned back the German advance and by morning had recaptured Villers Bretonneux. But this small village was shattered. Homes, public buildings, shops, the town hall, the church and the village school were all in tatters. On the morning of April 25, Anzac Day, a head count showed that 1,200 Australian soldiers had died to capture the village. A few years later in Melbourne, Victoria, a little boy had a dream to help rebuild the school in Villers Bretonneux. This little boy, George, lived above his family's bakery. He woke early each morning to care for the horses that drew the carts to deliver the bread. Soon he had earned his first two pennies to help rebuild the school. It was then that a bond was forged between George and Villers Bretonneux that was never broken. George was not alone. Thousands of Victorian schoolchildren donated pennies. This initiative became known as the Penny Drive. The Victoria School, standing on the Rue de Victoria in Villers Bretonneux, was rebuilt between 1923 and 1927. In the quadrangle of the school, painted over a porch on a green background in yellow, is written, Do not forget Australia. Two Pennies is a powerful and poignant story about this little boy who, with courage, hope and perseverance, helped to rebuild this school across the oceans.